safety first. Welcome to Turning and Burning, your number one channel, all things blue collar. Last video, we showed you how we were laying all this base out. Well, as you can tell, swing the camera around. Things have really changed. Stuff is starting to go up. So I want to take you along and document this entire job. You saw from the very beginning when we broke ground. And I'm going to show you where we're at right now. Put some trenches, put some water lines in. Let's go check it out, see what the guys are up to. Oh, looks like they're uh, putting a little flowable fill in there. So as the guys are behind me throwing the global fill in there, I'll kind of show you why they're doing that and what they're doing. But right here you can see we went ahead and uh, we got all the concrete done. Once we got all the the base work all complete, we came in here and uh, found elevations and we put the concrete down. Where I'm standing right now is going to be a big bin, a four compartment bin that's going to be fed uh, from over there on the other side of that trailer and it's gonna have a stacker it's gonna move back and forth and it feeds the top of this bin it feeds it with uh, rock and sand everything that goes through to make concrete and then from here there'll be a conveyor that shoots up this way and we have these big pillars right here because this is where a silo is gonna be that will hold the uh, cement and the fly ash as you can see right here here's the tape that we put in there that way if anybody starts digging in the future they're gonna hit the flowable fill, then they're gonna hit that, so they're gonna know for sure. But all the lines have been running here. The, uh, as you can see, electrical, they've done pretty well, pretty neat. Let's use these plastic pieces to keep these separated when they go through. Um, same around here, kind of keep them up out of the ground. Hit the water line down in below, and then electrical come in and ties in. What we did here, this is a, a slump stand the truck drivers will walk up here when the truck pulls in right here these fold down that way they can get out there they can look inside check the slump add water whatever they need to do and so with this the trucks are driving here all the time and a lot of people they like to come in here they put their pipes on the outside and they're constantly getting hit uh, knocking the pipes and stuff off so what we like to do is come in right here you can see where these little plastic bags are right here um, that's our our piping we like to go through the concrete that way it's inside there come out and come out here as you can see where it's plugged in and that's where the fresh water will come in through there same thing with the electrical it's going to come up that way they can put lights and everything we also chamfer this is a little 45 that way the trucks do hit it you're not going to have any kind of brakes or anything like that we'll come over here this is kind of where we're going to have to finish up we made this nice uh coat rack right here now I'm just playing this is where they'll come in everything comes up out of the ground and they'll have their box right there so they can run their power wherever they need to go as you can see not quite done yet uh, everything's covered up got the tape running along here and once this is complete and we finish all this we're gonna come through and that'll be the next step is we're gonna put ballers all around here all around this dig down about three feet uh, drill and then there'll be four foot pipes all the way around this thing that way any trucks run into it um, when I have an explosion or anything like that it's all for safety and then from there do the same thing we'll put some around the office that way you have a lot of trucks like these mixture trucks and stuff out here driving everywhere and so that's gonna be the next part of the project once we get all this complete we're going to go in and we're going to start putting all the pipes in the ground. And there it is. All set up. Be nice and protect it. And then like I was saying earlier, then they'll cover it up. We'll put all the topsoil back on there and the base and all that stuff. And then when this is all done, the whole job site's going to be another nine inches of concrete on top of this. So that's why Kind of going through all these steps to make sure that everything's done and we know that we are 100 percent complete because once there's concrete on there you have to go back in there to make any repairs that's not going to be fun at all that was a quick video quick update i want to try to take you along on this uh on this job 
from each step you know just little by little try to bring some exciting things along when we put the plant up that's definitely going to be exciting this is the stuff after you know the base work is cool um all the trench and everything's cool but i mean basically digging holes laying the pipes in the ground stuffing everything up getting it ready for when the plant's up and we can make all the final connections but i'm gonna head into town i need to get some four inch t's on this poly pipe so we can finish that up get it all covered up so uh i'm not gonna drag up but i'm gonna roll on up out of here to the next job we'll start showing you putting the plan up and anything else we do and uh just follow along this is just uh each process and how you put up a, a batch plan. This is gonna be a nice batch plan. This is gonna be a really, really nice facility once it's all completed. All right, I'm out of here, peace.